What is going on lads and welcome back to another pack opening where we are going to be blowing another 100k on some packs and hoping to pull an inform. There's some pretty sick informs this week. There is Leighton Baines, there is Hugo Lloris, we've got Schweinsteiger, Eto, so I did a review on the 6 chem Eto, and I'm hoping to get one on the inform 6 chem Eto and see if the things are still the same. So if you missed that video make sure you go back and check that out, a link to that will be in the description. Of course, like all of my videos, this video is sponsored by FIFA Coin Traders, so they are the reason that I can afford to spend 100k on packs and basically just throw coins at EA. So if you're looking for some coins, make sure you use their link. It is down in the description below. A nice, reliable way to get your coins. Anyway, as you can see, we are just blazing through the packs. This is pre-recorded and I've just snipped out the bits in the middle, so you just get packs, so there's none of that boring shit of me putting stuff in the consume balls and anything like that. And of course, the player that we are hoping to get, although I think Eto and Loris will probably be the most expensive, or Schweinsteiger probably. Um, Loris is like 70k anyway for a goalie. Imagine like paying 300k for an informed goalkeeper, it'll probably be it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. But anyway, although we want them co big coin players, we also want to pull Leighton Baines because I really do want to have a go of him. He's so overpowered on this game at left back with his non-rare card so I really want to try out his inform and hopefully it'll be amazing it's been a long time coming he is what I think the most just the best left back in the premiership the most consistent he's so good I get into a lot of arguments on twitter with people who say that Ashley Cole are ever a better but I just stone cold Leighton Baines is the best and that's all there is to it that's all there is to it for me and he's absolutely overpowered on FIFA as well speaking of overpowered that gets me onto a topic that I was talking about in my Russian league, in my Russian squad builder, sorry, not Russian league, Russian nationality. So again, I'll leave a link to that if you want to go and check it out around the world in 60 squads. But I was talking about overpowered and people say, oh, this guy's so overpowered. And some of the time this guy is overpowered. You can see there we picked up a 4 one 2 one 2 So that's pretty fucking good. That'll go for about 6 or 7k. So we got some of the coins back from that pack. But yeah, overpowered players on FIFA 13. There's quite a lot of them. And when people say overpowered or when I say overpowered, I mean cheap and low rated but play absolutely amazing. So there's some people who will be saying, oh my god, I've just I've just picked up Aguero, he's overpowered as hell, or I've just got Ronaldo, he's so overpowered, he scores all the time. And it's like, the players, they're not overpowered, they are good players and they do score all the time. And they will win your games and they are absolutely amazing, but they're not overpowered, they're meant to be that good, they're meant to be that powerful and they're meant to score goals over all the time. The 87 rated and Ronaldo is like 92 rated and stuff like that. They're meant to be absolutely unbelievable. They're not overpowered. It's just how they're meant to be. Players like Johan Kabai or Sissoko or Tarapt and people like that. Mayuka is the prime example. I absolutely love Mayuka. This guy here looks like a pretty decent silver as well. He's got 90 pace on him, so he looks quality. But Mayuka, oh my god. He's literally like the best player on the game. Like, I haven't used a better striker at all. Full stop. I haven't used a better player on FIFA 13 than Mayuka and he's a silver and he's like what 72 or something like that he's not even a 74 rated silver it's absolutely fucking stupid how good he is to be honest I think it's got something to do with the fact that he's got a five star weak foot like there's a bit of a myth or mumblings going around about five star weak foot making you just ridiculously overpowered and I can see it there's Jermaine Beckford there is Tarapt there is Arshavan, who I used in my last squad build, and it was absolutely unreal. I wasn't expecting that at all. And obviously, there's Mayuka as well. There's so many players that just shouldn't be that good, but it seems to be all the ones with five-star skill moves. Five-star weak foot, sorry, not skill moves. are just absolutely unreal. So I'm going to be picking up a team full of five-star weak foot players and testing out that myth, I suppose you could call it, and seeing whether it actually is true and whether you should just go and buy all of the five-star weak foot players and maybe stick a six chemetto for yourself up front and just go absolutely mental and abuse all the little glitches or bugs or things that happen in FIFA 13 but anyway we are now getting towards the end of this pack opening you will see in this pack we get it's boss being a pretty shitty pack opening to be honest with you but it does pick up a little bit at the end we pull a Jordi Alba there I'm not too sure how much he goes for at the moment but he is still an absolutely quality player 90 pace and probably the best left back in the Liga BBVA because I hate Marcelo he's so bad he's just not worth the coins at all so I would recommend anyone to go and pick up Alba instead and then finally in the last pack we go, when it finally loads, you will see that we pick up a, come on, Royce, there you go, now you can see it. So we got a Marco Royce in the last pack, so again, the last two packs were considerably better than the whole, the pack opening as a whole, but all in all, it was pretty, pretty dire. I don't know how much Alba and Royce are worth, but I'm going to guess you're not going to get more than 20k back for them. We spent over 100k on all them packs, you can see we got a 3.5 too as well. But apart from that, lads, that's basically it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. Something a little bit different. I don't usually do pack openings, or I don't do pack openings that regularly. But if you would like to see more pack openings from me, maybe some live ones as well with some reactions, let me know. You can see there, he's got four-star skills, so he might go for a little bit. So we'll stick him in on his club as well. But anyway, lads, that is going to be the end of the video. So if you have enjoyed it, do be sure to drop it a like. If you are new, do be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, lads, and I will see you next time.